Good morning, and today is Tuesday, February the 14th. The time right now in Singapore is 11.27 in the morning. And today is the Western World Valentine's Day. And for those out there who are celebrating, I'm wishing you also a happy Valentine's Day. And overnight on Wall Street, the market has basically rebounded off the low that we saw on Monday. Uh, sorry. So the market actually started on a weak note, but gradually it started to rise uh, basically in expectation of a good cpi report tonight which is going to be released at 9 30 pm singapore time market expectation is for the cpi to drop from the previous month of 6.5 percent to 5.8 percent so basically it is looking for a good number if the number come in better than expected or at 5.8 the market is likely to rally but if the market came in hot at above 6%, then maybe the market was going to come back down again. So the market has been rising in expectation of a good number. So be very careful chasing this market higher because although the possibility of a extended rise uh, into tonight's trading is very high, but uh, again, look out for if you are a medium term or long term trader, do take this advantage to look for uh, a selling opportunity but for those who are trading short term uh, i think the odds for an extended rally uh going into the opening hours of the new york session is pretty high okay now over in the s p 500 we are seeing the same thing the market has rebounded off uh, uh friday's low so far uh we have seen a low traded to as low as uh 4060.8 this is based on the s p 500 previously i mentioned this uh, this decline from the high of 4195.4 is a three wave affair meaning to say that it is corrective in nature and if it's corrective then the uh the higher time frame is going to exert its pressure and this uptrend here remains very much intact i've always maintained that this uprise here doesn't look complete for the market to be complete it need to at least uh proportionally speaking symmetrically speaking it needs to rise to 4373.5 there about uh to actually look symmetrical but so far i think there is that uh there is the expectation that the the market wants to rise so we will maybe have to prepare for this move but for medium to long term trader like i mentioned uh the odds of a long term decline is pretty high but in the mean, in the meantime short term trades uh seems to suggest that the upside uh, potential is basically still very much intact okay over at the nasdaq 100 we are also seeing similar rebound same thing like what we saw in the s p 500 the market rebound off friday's low of uh, 12204 and this is a three wave pullback from a high of 12881 and again but unlike uh, the s p 500 this market three wave rebound from the last october low looks to be symmetrically uh balanced and the high of 12881 does look like it may be the top for this round okay but again we will have to see what the other indices are doing especially if the other indices has not uh, hit their uh, 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 optimal height then maybe it may also influence the nasdaq 100 okay but by and large i uh, i believe the nasdaq 100 may already has already top up at 12881 that we saw two weeks ago okay over in asia let's take a look at asia activity uh, over in okay, over in the Nikkei 225, we can see that Nikkei actually opened on a positive note, but as the hours progressive in the first half of the session today, market seems to be pulling back, and uh, the high traded so far was actually on Monday. Market actually not not this Monday, the, but but two uh, uh, the Monday before this uh, was twenty seven thousand eight twenty one, and the market seems to have difficulty maintaining above this high. So, uh, there were three attempts to actually go back above twenty seven thousand eight twenty one. One happens on Tuesday, did not quite make it, and then another happened on Friday. Again, it was so back down. So today, maybe uh, as uh, uh, as the market progresses, we still have a second half. We want to see whether the market have enough momentum to actually challenge this. Okay, even if the market can take out twenty seven thousand eight twenty one, there is two other barriers in which it must cross convincingly to be able to tell us that this re uh, rebound from the uh, last September low is still very much in play. Uh, if you're looking for symmetrical relationship, this move here does looks incomplete. And if this is the case, the possibility of a move higher, assuming this is what the market wants to do, uh, let's do this. We do one, 
equality okay if the market wants to go up equality the market may have to re-challenge the 28,500 levels again so this level here is 20, 28,542 to 28,910 okay so there about i think the market will challenge this high one more time to make it look symmetrical uh, balance and, and from there i think the odds of a sell-off uh, does increase proportionally okay over in the shanghai composite index uh, again we are seeing uh, prices wanted to rally and if we are looking for some metrical uh, relationship we can see that this three wave rebound uh, will probably picks up somewhere at 3372 to 3415 so this bracket of prices is going to be uh, quite uh, interesting to see what the market will do okay over in the hong kong market we have seen the hong kong market actually uh, pulling back one two three so right now there is a five way structure so a five structure means it could be anything like a a a, a, a more sizable correction so if this is the case then market may, may pull back either at a 50 percent or the 61.8 percent and then maybe it will come down from there okay so if this is the case i think somewhere uh hang on uh somewhere in this bracket of price eh? okay so wrong price is this price okay somewhere between uh 21,750 to 21,775 okay uh it's also quite near to the uh underbelly of this support and resistance so anyway i think this market is primed to trade to the downside so if you get a chance to trade on the downside based on a reversal signal take it because i will <laughs> all right guys uh, let's move on to the currencies over in the currency we can see last night there was a bit of a, uh, a pullback in the dollar we have seen dollar um, recovering for quite some time now and uh, the high in euro versus the dollars at 110.33 and that was traded on february the second the market has gone all the way down to 106.55 which was what traded on monday and now we can see the market is rebounding in early asian trading hours so the first barrier of uh the first barrier to higher prices will be 108 okay 108 is going to be the one big barrier for the market to cross if you can cross above it well and good if it's not that i think it will come back down again so the dollar strength story remains very much uh, valid and uh, we are seeing that uh very much reflective in all the other major currency pair over in sterling we are also seeing the market tops up somewhere even earlier than uh than the euro dollars the market tops up in january 23rd at 124.48 or thereabout okay and the market pulls back all the way to 119.60 and now we are seeing a rebound so this rebound if it unfolds in the three wave corrective pattern may see sterling short term uh, uh attempting 122.65 to 122.90 levels and if the market comes to this level and couldn't sustain and start to show us a reversal signal take it because i will too okay over in the aussie dollars the rebound that we are seeing from the low of 0 0.6855 which was traded on february 26 uh two monday ago we can see the market is likely to unfold in the three wave as well so again the target somewhere will be 0 0.7 uh 0745 to 0765 thereabout so the market can go back uh back up to into this bracket of prices uh there's a good reversal signal okay that will be another signal to tell us that the dollar strength may come rolling back okay just be very careful shorting the dollar at this current moment in time over in dollar versus the yen you can see the dollar yen seems to be wanting to recover the low 127.21 was actually traded on january 16 so the high here pulls back and now we are seeing another rally attempt from here okay so if we are looking for cemetery okay the market should be able to go up to 135.50 to 136.20 so this is what we call equality move and this is just the um, the least optimistic outlook if the market is managed to search beyond 136.20 then the market is in a totally different uh, frame of mind altogether dollar versus the canadian uh, is struggling it is it has been sidelining for quite some time the low is at 132.60 and the high is 134.70 so the market has been trading within these two extreme boundaries here and assuming the low last night at uh we call it a 133.25 is the low then there is the possibility market may actually uh target 135.39 to 135.66 okay but still the market will be in consolidation 
Now let's move forward and see what is happening in the precious metals. Uh, gold market continue to uh, to linger lower. Uh, there is simply no incentive or no motivation to buy uh, a precious metal at current levels. Overnight, we can see gold traded to as low as 1,850. Uh, this is a far cry from where it was just two weeks ago at 1,960 uh, levels. Okay, So the market has dropped something like 1,100. Uh, and ten dollars over these last three weeks and it does look like it may actually continue to drift lower uh i think the area of interest to me will be 1824 okay and a half because previously we can see this is a pivot line the market was kept here at 128 uh 1823 and then come back down and supported at one one thousand eight twenty five. So somewhere between these two bracket of prices, uh, I will say I'll take a medium price of one thousand eight twenty five and a half. I think we should be able to see some kind of support return, uh, uh some kind of demand, uh, returning from these levels. So if you are looking to buy, maybe that will be a great level to look out for. Okay, over in silver, currently silver is a little bit weaker than gold. Okay, uh, at the rate the market is coming off, and we can see that from a high of twenty four dollars and sixty four cent, market is now trading at twenty one dollars and 80 cents there about and it's likely to continue to drift lower target is somewhere between 20 dollars and 60 cents okay this is the nearest target going back all the way to uh, november 21st okay so the nearest area of demand is at 20 dollars and 60 cents over in crude oil we can see crude oil managed to uh, edge higher to a high of 80 dollars and 62 cent now compared to two mondays ago the market opening on a weak note went out to 72 dollars and 25 cents and reverse at a point where the market hit 72 dollars and 25 cents you can see this reversal sign here this is based on a four hours time frame and this reversal sign is what we call a hammer and prices have not looked back since okay so high trader is 80 dollars and 62 cents on the back of the news that the russia is trying to cut back uh, its production also putting a cap on the discount rate that they are giving to friendly nation that buys uh, Russian energy products so by and large this is a bullish news the market is basically going up based on that okay over in crypto uh, we have seen the correlation between crypto and uh, equity markets okay uh, marching in lockstep so if the equity markets is able to recover tonight based on the CPI number, then I think that will be uh will have a positive influence over crypto prices and thereabout. I think the market may actually take higher. Based on the Bitcoin itself, the high traded of twenty four dollars two fifty eight and the low traded this morning uh at twenty one dollars. 376 seems to have come to a point whereby i think the market is getting ready ready for a move to the upside at least to test okay uh the market has taken out the previous bottom here at 22 dollars i'm sorry 22 314. so maybe this will be the short term resistance level so we have to see how market reacts if it goes up okay over in ethereum we are seeing the same kind of movement ethereum have basically been falling from 1714 all the way to 14 uh 1463 and uh and 20 cents it does not look like he has found a bottom yet because although he has taken out the most recent bottom here at uh fifth one one thousand five hundred okay so the market still has a little bit downside left before it can stabilize i believe the support is lying somewhere around a thousand three hundred sixty one dollars but if the market managed to clear above this short-term resistance point right now it has not it has tested but couldn't cross over but if it does then that may leave uh the possibility of a uh, of a more robust recovery for until that happened, we were just going to watch this thing, okay? Over in, uh, let's see, what else? Over in Cardano. Cardano also hit a bottom this morning at 0 0.345. The low here was 3, 0 0.347. So the market did a test of the low, couldn't find any follow-through selling. Market reverse, this is a reversal signal on based on a four-hour time frame. So this should actually work out. Uh, well for short term uh, uh, bullishness so if you're looking to scalp this market uh, there's a possibility the market may actually starting to go up so if you want to do this go down to the lower time frame i suggest you can look at maybe the perhaps a one hour time frame and take your cue from there so what i would normally do if i want to go and scalp this thing uh, is to basically look for levels to 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 enter a trade okay so what i'll do i'll move this a little bit to the left uh i want to see take a take a take a measurement the 50 percent mark seems to lie somewhere okay, i have to expand this i can see the number here uh 
Ah, I can't see the number very clear. Okay, I have to squeeze it a little bit <laughs> so to get the number correct. Okay, the level is 0 0.353. Okay, 0 0.353 to 0 0.354. In the market, ever come to this bracket of prices between 0 0.353 to 0 0.351, look for any kind of sell uh, buy signal to a to emerge ideally you see something like what we saw at the bottom of this move here something like this this is a hammer and uh, this will be encouraging for us to take a take a trade on the long uh, on the long side at least for a short term trade to see if the market can actually go up and challenge this high here which is 0 0.74 0 0.374 okay so if you want to do this trade put a stop below 0 0.345 and to gun for 0 0.374 now this is a short term play i will not do it myself because i don't do short term very much these days it's simply too taxing for an old man like me okay anyway this is all i have for you now remember tonight at 9 30 there will be cpi released keep your eyes peeled for this number because it is going to be volatile bye bye take care and i'll see you tomorrow